Wealth, property, and possessions are the main objective in life for most people. And these people possess a great thirst for material possessions. They use all possible means to achieve their ends, hesitating at nothing. In such people's eyes, wealth is a most important influence, one that expresses superiority. They feel and demonstrate great respect for the well-off. This devotion to possessions is described as the worldly appetites in the Quran. To humanity, the love of worldly appetites is painted in glowing colors, women and children, and heaped up mounds of gold and silver, and horses with fine markings, and livestock and fertile farmland. All that is merely the enjoyment of the life of this world. The best homecoming is in the presence of God. Yet such concern over possessions and wealth also brings with it terrible apprehensions. Heading the list of these is the fear of losing what one has. The fact is that a person can lose everything he owns in an earthquake, in a single moment. Or the home he saved up for over so many years may become uninhabitable as the result of a fire. All these are tests from God. Someone who lives unaware that the life of this world is a place of testing and that he is being tested by means of such events will be stunned when he suddenly loses his possessions and may even display a rebellious nature. Since people who live far removed from religious moral values look at the loss of possessions from this distorted perspective, they imagine that there is nothing good or auspicious in such an event. God reveals in the Quran that he will test people by reducing their possessions. We will test you with a certain amount of fear and hunger and loss of wealth and life and fruits. But give good news to the steadfast. Things are totally different for believers, however. First and foremost, attitudes peculiar to the society of the ignorant, such as a thirst to own or accumulate possessions, are totally absent from believers superior moral values because the believer has devoted his entire life to earning the approval of God he therefore uses his possessions in the path of God and never becomes caught up in the selfish passions of earthly desires believers never alter their behavior in the event they lose their possessions in some way because they know that there is great wisdom and auspiciousness behind that even if they do not know what these are at the time. Perhaps God is issuing a reminder by this means to his servants who have become caught up in the transient desires of this world. Or he may have determined an auspicious future of which they are unaware by bestowing an even finer recompense in this world and the next on those of his servants who display patience at such a difficult time. Therefore, Believers regard everything that happens to them as a reminder, seek forgiveness, and submit unconditionally to the destiny created by God. Say, nothing can happen to us except what God has ordained for us. He is our master. It is in God that the believers should put their trust.